Biafra and feminism. Do you know why some of us seem to have estranged ourselves from the Biafran struggle? It is not because we do not love, pray and desire and see the need for self-determination. It is not because we hate anyone. It is because we do not want to be identified with peddlers of fake news, propaganda, tribalism, and hate. You see, the struggle for Biafra is justified, but how you decide to go about it may be unrighteous. You may only get to know that some of us are die-hard Biafrans when you sit with us individually and engage in intelligent conversation. We just don't want to identify with a crowd that despises logic, debates, healthy criticism, and so on. The enemies of Biafra are actually those who claim to be Biafrans, but peddle fake news, lies, insults, propaganda, and so on, all in the name of Biafra. You are quickly called names the moment it seems you have a slightly differing opinion. And as a result, you choose not to identify with a struggle that has been hijacked by bigotry. But then, we are part of the problem because we allowed the wrong people to hijack the right course. When good men keep quiet, evil continues to thrive. Hiding will hurt what you stand for even the more. It is better to speak the truth and stand alone, but honorably. There are truths you speak. You won't just be fought by enemies on the outside, you will also be fought by enemies on the inside. External enemies always take advantage of this, but they indirectly collaborate with internal enemies to fight a common goal. Feminism is beautiful. Feminism is just a label for an ideology that further campaigns for an egalitarian society where the woman is also respected and given the opportunity to be all she can be. Feminism promotes egalitarianism. It simply admits the ill treatment that women receive in society in its pursuit for equality and fairness. Just like Biafra, a lot of people are choosing not to publicly identify with the label because they don't want to be branded wrongly. They are feminists in their hearts. They communicate same when you seek their opinion, but they do not put on a mark on their forehead that reads, I am a feminist. You know why? because they don't want to be identified with hate, insults, and mishandry. I know a lot of men and women who tell me privately, I am a feminist. I regard everyone equally, even in my office, but I don't carry placard and showcase my passion about on social media because I want to protect my brand. I have experienced this too, publicly identifying as a feminist, which won't stop, have caused me a lot of things. Friends have quarreled me with some platforms, have shut their doors on me. Ministry friends have kept their distance because, according to them, you can't be a feminist and a Christian at the same time. Just like the Biafran scenario, 
the biggest enemies of an egalitarian society, which classic feminist promotes are those misguided folks who hide under the guise of feminism to spew their bigotry. People do some things because they are angry. There are people who truly do not hate others, but their actions don't agree because they are so angry mm -hmm. and have allowed anger mm -hmm. take over their tongues and attitudes. Yes, it takes anger to change certain situations, but it also takes anger to make situations worse. The problem is that there is just a thin line which many people do not realize they have crossed. As a result, it seems feminism is losing its meaning. People are beginning to regard it as synonymous to Miss Andre. What should we do? Keep quiet and allow the narratives to change. No, that is part of the sacrifice we are going to pay. Why we fight the enemies without you must fight the enemies within. Unfortunately, sometimes to fight these enemies, we must fight our own self. We must fight the temptation to cross the line, the temptation to hate, and the temptation to fight dirty. Fight the good fight, stand out, and win honorably. Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, um, based on what has just been analyzed, the enemies of Biafra are everywhere and they truly know themselves. Those are the people that have been fighting tooth and nail to see that Biafra doesn't actualize or achieve its goal. We have them in every, uh, in every community and in different states, as most especially in the eastern region, aside from the northerners. The northerners on their own side are the real enemies of Biafra that doesn't actually want Biafran freedom to be actualized. You understand? And that is for their own selfish reasons. You understand? Why the the one we have in the eastern region are the it's just like having uh, uh, the ants in a in a grass eating the grass. That is how the one in the east are. They are supposed to be to be part of the Biafrans, but they end up being the one killing the Biafrans because of selfish reasons as well. You understand? They don't care of what the their fellow brothers are going through. All they care is what they get as as a as an Igbo man or as an Igbo woman. That is all they care about. They don't want to know how the other person is feeling. You understand? So these people, they are regarded as enemies of Biafra. So Biafra as a republic, remain um, being a republic that has determined to, to achieve its purpose, even without minding any side distraction, at least have been able to get up to the level of uh, of actualization. Just like Mazenam the Kano stated it right, that if Biafran is not actualized this is not actualized this year, that he is going to step down shamefully. That is a word of courage. That is to tell you that he has determined to remain absolute 
in the actualization of Biafran. Same goes to other agitators. All right, that is to let you know how determined the Biafrans are. All right, so um, my viewers, um, your comment concerning this Biafran feminism is of great importance. Please um, don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to receive more updates whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.